Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report, politics may get in way of STEM education. Subcommittee on Aviation hearing on airspace integration of new aircraft. And police seize drone flown over traffic accident in Michigan. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. The myopic attempt to hobble or even kill off Section 336 may have other negative consequences than those already discussed. AMA notes that at this time, educators can use drones and model aircraft to teach STEM under Section 336 of the FAA Modernization and Reform Act of 2012, also known as the Special Rule for Model Aircraft. This provision is critical for youth education because the only other way to legally fly is under the small UAS rule, which requires pilots to be at least 16 years old. Obviously, this does not work for young people. There have been appeals from some groups to repeal Section 336, which would take away one of the most effective tools available for STEM education today, drones and model aircraft. Without Section 336, educators would need to obtain a Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate and students would be unable to fly. AMA has asked for your assistance in reaching out to Congress to stress the importance of model aviation to STEM curriculum. See the link on the screen to send an email to Congress. You can either send the form via email or edit with your own words to personalize why education through aviation is important to you. In the next general minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. A Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation UAV was used to locate a missing person after a DOJ silver alert was issued for a 68-year-old Oseo man. Previously, if a person had gone missing in a field or a large rural area, many hours and personnel resources would have been used to search the areas, said Attorney General Brad Schimmel. Thanks to quick thinking by the Eau Claire County Sheriff's Office and DCI's UAV pilot, law enforcement was able to quickly find this missing individual. Wybotic has announced a new wireless power system for the DJI Matrice 200 and DJI Matrice 210. The Wybotic wireless power system enables fully autonomous recharging of the drones so they can be on constant standby or fly repeatedly without the need for human or mechanical battery swapping. The Spokane Valley Washington Parks Department has proposed banning drones and model aircraft. At a city council meeting, Mike Stone, Spokane Valley Parks and Recreation Director, claimed a sharp increase in the use of drones in city parks and that there have been some near misses. He said there are people racing drones at four to five feet above the ground. And here comes a young person on a bicycle and the potential for a conflict is extremely challenging. Drones have their place, but I'm not sure they have their place in our parks, he said. If IBM's coffee drone concept wasn't enough for you, here comes Uber Eats with a proposal for drone-based munchie delivery by air. Uber has unveiled a vision for its expanding Uber Eats delivery service to include drones using some of the same infrastructure it plans to build for its flying taxi service. During a presentation at the recent Tokyo Uber Elevate conference, Uber said food delivery by drone is a natural extension of Uber Air. Uber envisions using the same skyports that will serve as a basis for Uber Air for food delivery services. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. The Subcommittee on Aviation met today to explore issues related to the integration of new aircraft into the national airspace system. The Subcommittee received testimony from representatives of the government and industry about a number of new vehicles that need accommodation 
to operate in the national airspace system, and unmanned aircraft were among those discussed. The hearing summary notes that the FAA estimates that the number of commercially operated UAS will grow from 110,604 aircraft in 2017 up to over 700,000 aircraft by 2022. In addition, the number of model or hobbyist UAS is forecast to grow from approximately 1.1 million aircrafts up to potentially 3 million aircrafts by 2022. Other topics being covered include the growing potential for flying cars, as well as counter UAS technologies. We're looking forward to seeing what comes out of all of this. A drone that was flying over a bad traffic accident on I-75 in Bay County, Michigan, was seized by police, and its operators may be cited and fined. The accident involved multiple vehicles and caused a lengthy traffic backup. According to Sergeant John Richards with Michigan State Police, a husband and wife that were stuck in the backup deployed their drone to try to see what was going on. But the drone caused a delay in the arrival of a medical evacuation helicopter sent to evacuate one of the accident victims. They were interviewed by police on August 31st. The drone will be analyzed for evidence according to the report, and a report will be sent to the Bay County Prosecutor's Office for review. Common sense should dictate that an accident with law enforcement involvement and while stuck in a traffic jam may not be a good place to fly the drone, especially with the potential for medevac. If you have any doubt about the legality of a flight, that's the time to stay groundbound. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program are Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.